Welcome back, everybody. It's 847. His story is one of redemption. Craig D'Alessio was a successful mortgage broker who ended up losing everything and living out of your car. Dude, that's a tough pill to swallow. Yeah. I and, can't imagine. And I'm pretty tall, too. I'm a, and I had a Volvo 850, so it was kind of like being like a sardine a yeah. lot. Yeah. So tell me what happened. I know, you know, the mortgage industry, obviously, huge blow. Yeah. I, I moved down here in 97 and uh, got into the business in 98 and you know first couple of years struggled and then I did really well and had my own branch for a company called Allied Home Mortgage. Mm -hmm. They were the biggest privately funded mortgage company in the country. Had a lot of success, was kind of nationally recognized and and then you know we first started feeling the kind of sh shudder from it all in 2006. Right. And uh, I lost my home in January of 2007 and but then I bounced back and had a decent year in 2007. I rented and then the bottom fell out, just 2008. And from, actually, from about July of 2007 on, I didn't close another loan. Really? And they condensed us. We were about 2,000 branches at one point. They condensed it down to 100 and closed down all the Tennessee offices except for two. One of them was mine. It was gone. And I couldn't rent anymore. And uh, I have a daughter and didn't want to leave town. So the, the only choice I had was to sleep in the car, so shower you were at the rec center. Sleeping in the car, showering at the rec center, but if there was ever a positive that came out of it, you now have a book. Yes. So this is A Rag and Muffin Christmas, an Advent Journey. Tell me about this book. I think it's a very interesting perspective to think about. It is. Christmas 2009 was the second year that, we were, that, that I was homeless. And for whatever reason, of the four Christmases I spent that way, it was the toughest one. And, and probably because my daughter informed me that year she... Uh, didn't believe in Santa anymore. I probably uh, just blew it for a lot of other people. <laughs> well, no. And we didn't. We always did an Advent calendar together. And she would. Uh, we're divorced, and she would keep one at her mom's house and keep one at my house. They were identical. So mm -hmm. if she was with me, we'd open it ourselves. And if she was at her mom's, I'd ha get her on the phone. We'd open it and talk about the little scene behind it. And she didn't want to do that anymore either. And I think it might have been because we didn't have any place to put it. Oh. And I started really thinking about the Advent and and about. You know, I just, it was a hard Christmas, and I just remember praying one time in late November, you know, God, so, you have to do something to make Christmas different for me this year. And I started thinking about him coming as a baby, taking on the flesh of a, of a human, the same way my daughter was born. I was there the night she was born, mm -hmm. and, and watching all that happen. And I started thinking, what would it be like to have been there that night? And before I knew it, 24 stories developed of different people who find themselves in the nativity and they're holding Jesus and interacting with Mary and Joseph and just the things that babies do to us, they make us drop our guard, they cause us wonder. Um, and these are very broken people, they're ragamuffins mm -hmm. and, and they find just healing and redemption in, in, in the meeting with Christ as a baby. That's so cool, what a great story. Okay, so people can now get this where? Amazon.com, BarnesandNoble.com. Uh, it's a little late for the bookstores now. That's okay. Um, and also, uh, this Friday night at uh, Fellowship Baptist Church in Mount Juliet, I'll be speaking, do a little one-hour presentation about the book Very and cool. doing some signings. So You're awesome. We well, love thank it. Thank you. Craig D'Alessio, everybody. Go out and get a copy of this. It's great for the holidays.